Hi, I'm Palak Biriwala, your health coach here at SugarFit. And today I'll be telling you about diabetic foot, a common complication that is seen in people suffering from diabetes because of very high blood sugar levels over a long period of time. Diabetic foot is a complication that occurs because of poor or limited blood flow in the feet and also because of nerve damage. This can also be caused by being overweight, having high blood pressure and high cholesterol which puts you at a higher risk for this complication. Diabetic foot can actually progress uh, if it is going untreated. So the poor the blood circulation in the feet, the more will be the necrosis or the death of the cells and this if left untreated will progress to the rest of the part of the body and can gradually even lead to foot amputation. Because of the poor blood circulation, it is very difficult to notice the origin of blisters, cuts and sores on the feet. Having a weak immune system, frequent infections and slow wound healing can lead to this complication. Diabetic foot is quite common nowadays where 15% of the diabetics get this complication. Diabetic foot which occurs because of nerve damage or diabetic neuropathy is mainly caused by hyperglycemia or high blood sugar levels. So a person suffering from diabetes must constantly check their blood sugar levels and keep them under check so that this disease does not progress further. There are various ways, procedures, both surgical and non-surgical ways to treat diabetic foot depending on the severity and the complexity of the complication. First, notice and observe any changes that are occurring in your feet. Maintain good hygiene by making sure that your feet is clean without any cracks, infections or wounds. Chop or trim your nails to the appropriate level. Make sure that there is no moisture on your feet. Prevent any moisture from accumulating by using a gentle cream or talcum powder and putting them in between your toes to prevent the moisture from accumulating. Make sure there is proper blood circulation in your feet. Indulge in more physical activity as that improves the blood circulation or the blood flow in the feet. Make sure you are wearing appropriate footwear which does not cause any corns and calluses which generally occur because of friction of the skin. Make sure your feet is always covered. Wear socks made of breathable material or breathable fabric which is comfortable which prevents the suffocation of the skin. Make sure you are wearing slippers that do not suffocate your skin at all. You can use therapeutic sandals and footwear for better care. Make sure you are washing your feet with warm or lukewarm water and then drying them properly afterwards. You can use a good gentle moisturizer to keep the skin soft, smooth, hydrated and moisturized. If you ensure all of these factors together, then I'm sure that you can prevent the risk of diabetic foot. So you should consult your doctor when you feel any of the following symptoms which are putting you at risk of diabetic foot. First, being pain in the legs, muscle cramps in your thighs, buttocks and calves after a physical activity. Noticing that the nails are becoming thick and yellow in color. If you notice cracks or cuts on your feet or you have infectious corns, calluses, blisters, any of these, you must check it out from a doctor. If you lose sensation in your feet, or lack the ability to sense cold or heat or notice a change in the temperature of your feet that could be another sign. Also if you have any tingling or pricking sensation or a burning sensation in the feet that could also be a sign that diabetic foot is progressing. So make sure to get all of these checked out. In case you have any fungal infection like an athletic foot that could also be another sign to check out for. You can also notice some ingrown toenails or some reduced hair growth in your feet, lower legs and lips. If you notice any of these symptoms, make sure you are visiting a doctor. If you are suffering from diabetes, you might notice certain skin conditions where you notice that the skin in the legs or the feet start turning black. This is known as diabetic dermopathy which occurs because the small blood vessels in the feet start getting damaged leading to brown or black colored patches in the skin. If this progresses, it can further start affecting the tissues nearby. So if you notice this, you must visit a doctor to get it checked out because you definitely need some lifestyle interventions and some proper foot care. When you visit a doctor, they might 
treat you with some antibiotics which are a viable option and certain non surgical ways but if the progression has advanced and you are having more severe and a more complex problem then the doctor might necessitate a amputation or as that is a surgical removal of the affected part of the body having diabetic foot can make you prone to ulcers which do not heal if these ulcers do not heal they start causing more severe issues where they start damaging the tissues around it and that is when surgery is very important or is the only viable option this process is called amputation where the affected area that is your toe feet or leg of a person is amputated or cut off in order to prevent the disease from progressing further if that is not done the cell damage will start progressing above to the other parts of the body which can ultimately lead to death and that is where a person has to go for an amputation or cutting off of the affected area in order to save their life so if you are a diabetic then please make sure that you keep your blood sugar levels in check by having a healthy lifestyle which includes healthy clean eating being physically active having a proper sleep schedule and not taking too much stress make sure that you keep noticing the changes in your feet take proper hygiene and proper foot care and ensure that you do not have any untreated wounds sores etc If you follow all of these you can prevent yourself from having diabetic foot which is a traumatizing experience. Thank you for watching and hope this helps you become more aware about this complication. Thank you.